Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have our October Kira Kira Crate from Doki Japan Crate. I got the Doki Doki one too, but this is for October. I just got this maybe like two, three days ago. Today's, what, Thursday? Got it, so what, Tuesday? So it's a little late, but it does come straight from Japan. So let's open this up and see. I have been waiting all month for this. And it shipped out in September, so. For anyone that is interested in getting Kara Kara Crate, I will leave all the instructions, or the. You can tell I'm really in a good mood today. You can tell I'm really wanting to unbox some stuff today. And it really is bringing me down, because this is what I really want to do. I'm just really, really aggravated right now. Like, I'm really, really salty right now. About a lot of things. It's nothing to do with... It's nothing to do with these boxes. Like, none of my boxes. Today was not a very good day. And I was hoping that this would bring me, like, some joy. But it is not. And then I look over to my left. My right, your left. And see that I have boxes that I still have to send out to the Peep Geek and Marie. To Felix. To, uh... Crap. I'm blanking on the name now. Jetta Patrol. Like, I've got stuff that I need to send out and to... Where did it go? I've got some pins that I need to send out to Half Geek. And it's just like, I've got this salty taste in my mouth right now. Because I'm just looking at all the stuff that I'm behind on. And it's making it worse. And I was hoping that these unboxing videos today would have made me feel a little bit better. But... We're going to progress on and stop ranting about things that I can't control right now. Uh, maybe I'll do a live stream one day if anybody's interested in that or just a vent video. I don't know. I'd probably best do it in a live stream. That way you all can have questions. We can all just talk and maybe just get me in a better mood. But... Let's get back to this. The Kira Kira Crate is a Japan crate for beauty items. Now, in the past, they have sent face masks, body wash, body lotions, soaps, um, makeup, lipsticks, stuff like that. Um, today, looks like this month is just dedicated to um, more personal stuff, like body washes, lotions, for more, more like personal care stuff. So... The um, first thing we have is a sponge. Now, I don't know what this one is made of. I know when you get them wet, they do get soft. Like right now, this thing is really, really super hard. But it is in a shape of a heart. And the one that I bought off of Wish was a charcoal one. And it actually worked really, really good until I just got tired of it. But it is like, I think it's supposed to be like a seaweed face wash like a face sponge. They work really, really well. I really, really like them. I just got tired of using it. And that's what I do. I just get tired of using things. So that's a pretty cool item. Next we have what looks like some face foam. We have a cheat sheet. We gonna look. Because I really don't know what this is. Um... Okay, there's the eye cream. I was going to say, I'm missing something. Never mind. Wishful thinking. Um, it is actually, it is face foam. I guess it's like a face cream or face mask. It, I guess it's a face wash. It, like, is supposed to help remove makeup and stuff like that. Does it have a smell? Probably not. Oh, thank you, Japanese people. Let's see. It doesn't really have a smell to it. Like, it smells like soap, but I'm kind of curious to see how that works on my face because I'm trying to get rid of, like, all this red blotchiness here, and I really don't want to go to a dermatologist because I've never been to a dermatologist, but, you know, things happen. Um, all right, so we have some eye cream. What we do with the eye cream, we just stick it on the way out loud. I'm assuming it just goes underneath your eye, maybe to get rid of the bags. Let's 
Yeah, it looks like it just goes underneath the eyes. Mm. Let's see what this actually does during the video. I've got some Dead Sea cosmetic stuff that I actually have that while we were putting it, like the lady was actually putting it on my face that like all of this pretty much just lifted, my eyebrows lifted, like all the dark circles went away. So that was really good stuff. Really expensive, that deep, or that, uh, that deep sea cosmetic stuff, but it's really, really good because it comes from, or Dead Sea, because it comes from the Dead Sea. So yeah, uh, we'll have to read more into this and see exactly how it works. It looks like it also goes over your eyelashes or over your eye lid so we'll have to see about that next is some bath botanicals um it's bath salt excuse me doesn't say what kind of scent it is but i'm not going to open up but i think it just might be regular bath salt almost like epsom salt so that's pretty cool I don't take too many baths, though. My grandma has, like, one of those really weird sit-down tubs for her, so don't fill that up too much because by the time it gets all the, all the way full, the water's cold, so. And the last thing looks like what we have. One, two, three, four, five items this month. The last thing is a Pure Smile Face Mask. I love these things. I've got a ton of these from previous boxes, and it looks like it's just a... Ugh. A geisha, geisha? Is it geisha? Gasha? Geisha? A geisha lady? Lady man? Because <laughs> I've seen some weird stuff, but you know. I think it's a geisha lady, though. I think it's a mask, but you can see right there where it's that. So that's pretty cool. I have actually tried those. Um, for some people, they are. It's actually an art mask, but yeah. For some people, they actually have caused people to break out. So I would suggest if you do get one. Um, whether you get it from a subscription box like Care Care Crate or um, there's another one. Or you just happen to go to a Japanese store and buy it. Or if you go to Japan, because that's my dream, literally. Um, if you go to Japan and get these or if you get them in a subscription box, just make sure you like blotch it on your hand first or like do something don't put it on your face because I have seen some people actually break out because of the chemicals that are used. Like somebody's allergic to something in it. So always, always, always test out face product so that that does not happen. Recap time. I don't know why I put that up. We have the face mask. We have the eye cream. We have the weird seaweed sponge thingy that's hard as a rock. We have some bath salts, and we have some face lotion mask, maybe some face wash. I don't know. We'll have to see how that one goes. But, yeah, not a bad box. I was really honestly hoping for some makeup, especially for it being Halloween or October. Um, I was really, really, really hoping for... Um, Um, some more Halloweenish stuff, um, but you know, I guess you can't win for, can't win them all. So maybe next year they'll actually put some Halloween festivities in this box, like some makeup or something. Come on, guys! Some people do actually do like to do makeup for their Halloween. Like, I think that's one of my things that I'm gonna try to do next year is, uh do some more, do more videos for like Halloween, like showing you how to do makeup and stuff. So, and it doesn't have to be like the pretty makeup. It's going to be like the gory makeup. So I got ideas. Pinterest. I love it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you um, are interested in getting Kira Kira Crate, I will link everything in the description box below. As always, let me know what you think in the comment section below and we will see you guys next time. Bye.